everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and what i've got going for today's video well if you bothered to read the video title and look at the thumbnail you'd probably know but just in case you didn't i finally broke down and got a set of these because well i needed them for my crayon collection of course anyways these are the crayola colors of the world now then, they have a 24 set in the crayons, I believe, but I actually ended up getting the 32 set, which, here, I'll let you look at the back of the box. This is Crayola Skin Tone set, but there's also some, looks like eye colors, like you've got some greens and blues, I mean, even kind of a red. So, yeah, I am really looking forward to trying this out. And... Just so that this won't be lonely, um, <laughs> these are all of the other sets of Crayola crayons that I have reviewed thus far. Oh, except for the neon, because with the illustration that I plan on doing today, I don't need the neon set. But I've got regular, metallic, pearl, confetti and glitter now that I'm not sure how much of those I'm gonna actually need in fact I'm probably just gonna be using the plain old regular ones but that's beside the point however this is the real one I wanted to showcase today this colors of the world so what are we waiting for it is time to get to the swatching so All right, so I've got them all lined up and ready to do the swatches. So I'm pretty sure that y'all know how this goes by now. Let's get these swatches done. Alrighty, so here are the swatches. As you can see, you've got some really light kind of pasty tones and then goes all the way very very dark 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 and then you've got like black hair green eyes blonde blue eyes the hair let me show you oh might be better if you're not looking at it upside down <laughs> right there and then like some of these skin tone colors like x focus camera thank you like extra deep almond let's take a look at this one maybe medium deep rose okay so I'm just gonna do a couple of uh, blend tests and then we'll get on to the main illustration which since this paper is kind of thin I actually have my line art all set up and ready yeah, 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 I know it's cheating, but I don't care. It's my channel and I'll do what I want. Okay, well, it's not horrible. Hey, like, you know what? Is it close to mine? Is it? I don't know. <sighs> Which one would be closest to mine? Now I'm curious. <laughs> it, it, it's almost like trying to find makeup. Yeah, I'm like really, really pink around the fingers, but I'm semi pasty. <laughs> yeah, I know I'd be in the, the lighter range. Hmm. Eh, that's something I can fool around with later. I'm gonna try some of the darker ones. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll admit, skin tones are something I really need to practice more with. But that's why I'm doing this. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get to that illustration. We'll get to the big reveal. Alrighty, and here it is. All right, I have already done the line art with Prismacolor color erase pencils. Now then, for those of you who are not aware, what I have drawn for today's video is I recently fell into the House of Wax fandom, and this is Vincent Sinclair. Now then, he has quickly become one of my favorite slashers simply because he's not just a slasher, he is an artist. An artist who works in, well, as the title of the movie kind of suggests, wax. So, what better way to try out some skin-toned themed crayons, which are made of wax, than by coloring in my favorite waxy boy. Okay, well, that was fun. So, I'm just gonna get to the coloring now because I've been really anxiously awaiting doing this one. I have I've really been looking forward to it, so let's go! I honestly love this set. The color ranges are absolutely spectacular. From so pale you can hardly see it, to exceptionally dark. That extra deepest almond was fantastic for shading, I can't even begin to tell you. If you're looking for a set to round out the typical brightly colored standard set of Crayola crayons, this is it. Even if you're not using them for skin tones, although here I am doing something unthinkable, using a skin tone set and actually utilizing it to color human skin. Who knew? Uh, of course, half of Vincent's skin in this portrait is covered with a mask, but his mask is an extremely pale skin tone. Okay, this is just getting to... Uh, uh, my brain is about to explode if I try thinking about this too much. However, the real show stealer here is Vinny's hair. I will say it right now, Vincent Sinclair has the most fabulous hair of any slasher. Perhaps if he wasn't busy using actual human bodies as templates for his artwork and then covering them in boiling wax while they're still alive, Vincent would kill it in a Pantene commercial. I mean, with hair that looks that awesome, he's gotta take care of it. Geez, something that just came to mind. There are some people out there that just hate bases. For those of you that don't know, typically a base is a line art that another artist created and offers up for other artists to use and customize. Anyways, I could well imagine that someone accusing Vincent of using bases for his artwork and thus isn't a real artist. Oh, that wouldn't go over well. Okay, just imagine, if you will, a scenario where Vincent has a DeviantArt or Instagram. Anyone who posts art online ought to know that at some point there's that one person who messages you with something along the lines of, Hey, I'm a huge fan of your work. Can you please make me one of your sculptures? I could just imagine Vincent just... Mm, just smirking behind his mask, Ed would message back, Oh, of course! I would just love to make you one of my sculptures. Just come on down to your screwed drive, Ambrose, Louisiana. Fan fiction writers, there's some ammo for you there. Heck, I might even have to scribble down that drabble. That sounds like fun. Wait, did I just say that out loud? Um, forget I said anything. Anyways, back to the crayons. I think that about 
15 layers is the limit for the amount of layers this particular paper can hold. I had an easier time layering these crayons than say the glitter or metallic ones. What I think it is is that the Colors of the World crayons don't have flecks of glitter or anything else that could clog up the layering process. Although due to pressing the black crayon way too hard and well there was a casualty, rip my black hair crayon. Yet, despite the amount of crayon sets from Crayola that I've gone through and reviewed, thus far the fact that this is the first broken crayon that I've had, well, seems like Crayola crayons are quite durable overall. Also, truth be told, I wasn't originally thinking about doing a background, but the temptation was just too great. I just went right in freehanding all those melty, waxy candles. That was a fun challenge. Don't ever be afraid of artistically challenging yourself. Try new things. It just, just not coating bodies and wax and displaying them, because that's illegal. If you've ever considered messing around with crayons, pick up a set of these and try them out for yourself. And now, perhaps it's time for a bad movie review. Alrighty, here goes. Five pretty but very uninteresting young people get killed off by villains that are vastly more interesting than they are. And I don't care what anyone else says. Wade had it coming! Intentionally damaging Vincent's art. Now that's the real crime that goes unaddressed in this movie. Justice for Vincent's damaged art pieces, dang it! Okay, so my overall conclusion, I think I have A, determined just how many layers of crayons this paper can take, and oh my gosh, okay, well, this next page should probably be used for swatching because I made a mess of it, <laughs> but you know, anybody who's got a three-year-old ought to know that crayons can be messy. They, they can be a clean medium, but also messy. Don't ask me how that works. I don't know how it works. Um, anyways, moving on. Overall, I found the, uh, the various tones and everything absolutely fantastic. Like, there are a lot of good shading. I, I loved using these. They were just phenomenal. Uh, um, I mean, like, you can tell that there were some I used more than others. <laughs> I'm still kind of like, was it worth it using this thing? <laughs> was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Um, I want to say yes. Um, <laughs> and there's, there's my chair. So, overall, I do think that these were worth the price of admission. I really do. And while we're at it, rip this poor noble black crayon. I even fixed it with tape. <sighs> Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Anyways, um, <laughs> with that being said, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope that it also managed to help you in some way. If it did, Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If I just told you what you already knew, um, well, could you subscribe to the channel anyway and leave a like just to be nice? I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!